artificial selection. Evolution is the change in the characteristics of a species over time, and this can result in the species of today looking drastically different from the species a thousand years ago. This can occur naturally through the process of natural selection. However, sometimes humans like to step in and make their own changes. When humans step in and influence the passing on of specific traits, it is called artificial selection. One way humans can interrupt the process is through selective breeding. In selective breeding, organisms with a specific desired trait are bred together to produce more offspring with the desired trait. Humans bred certain traits from the wild mustard plant, resulting in the different vegetables we enjoy today. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and kale are results from selective breeding of the wild mustard plant. Dogs are also the result of selective breeding. There are currently 350 dog breeds worldwide, and they all began from humans selecting certain traits that initially started with the wolf. Selective breeding usually takes 30 to 50 generations to produce the regularity of specific desired traits in each offspring. In the last 50 years, scientists have sped up the process by going right to the source of the traits and are now manipulating the DNA. Scientists use genetic engineering, which uses biological and chemical methods to change the arrangement of DNA that makes up the genes and codes for specific traits. Crops that have been genetically engineered are referred to as genetically engineered organisms, or GMOs. And in 1994, the FDA approved the first tomato GMO for sale. Other produce followed, and in 2018, nearly 90% of the soybean, corn, and cotton grown in the United States is genetically modified. The goal of selective breeding and genetic engineering is to produce offspring that contain the traits we humans feel are the most desired. Selective breeding is a slower process that can take 50 to 100 years, while genetic engineering can see results in less than 10 years. Humans have been using the process of selective breeding for thousands of years to produce the traits they want, while genetic engineering has only been around since the 1980s. Artificial selection is a way for humans to influence evolution and uses the process of selective breeding and genetic engineering. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.